Hi, I'm Daniel Gaddy, Managing Editor for Water Technology, and I'm joined today by Jeff Peters and Meg Hollywood with Veolia Water Technologies. Um, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you. Well, it's, it's great to have you. Uh, if you can, to start off with, just tell us a little bit about the work y'all both do at uh, Veolia and um, you know a little bit about your professional backgrounds as well. Yeah, my name is Meg Hollywood. I'm a, a process engineer with Veolia. Um, I've been with Veolia for almost 10 years now. Um, I've been a process engineer that whole time, but I have uh, I've worked on both the biological processes and our biosolids offerings as well. Mm -hmm. And Jeff, tell us a little bit about your, your work. Yeah, I'm Jeff Peters. Uh, I'm with Veolia as well. Uh, I've been in the business or in the industry for about 25 years focused on commercializing innovative technologies in the space of primarily wastewater treatment. So the most recently I've been involved in commercializing new technologies in the space of biological wastewater intensification. And I think that's the topic we're going to be talking about today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One, one thing I wanted y'all uh, to go over for sure is that, you know, the two technologies that were showcased at WebTech this year, uh, Sela and ZDance. Could y'all tell us a little bit about those? Um, Sela is a new MBBR technology. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more efficient, more sustainable than our conventional MBBR technologies. Um, but the main difference is that it uses a bio-based support material instead of the plastic carriers that we're used to seeing. Um, the nature of the biofilm on the support material just um, the main benefit is it allows for higher volumetric loading and removal rates. So we are able to um, treat the same load in a smaller footprint. Um, and it also uses our phased biodenitro process um, to achieve both biological phosphorus and total nitrogen removal. Um, and that happens in just two phases. So um, it's a pretty exciting and unique technology for us. Jeff, did you want to add anything in there or did that cover it? Yeah, why don't I talk about Z-Dense then? Uh, yeah, sure, the, great. The, so, so Veolia has a, a portfolio of intensification technologies. Of course, a long history in MBBR and IFAS and Sela is the, the next innovation around MBBR technology. Another technology portfolio we have is MABR. MABR stands for Membrane Aerated Biofilm Reactor. So Zlong is our MABR product. The, the way MABR works is that we install a media into the activated sludge tank and we grow a biofilm on that media. And that allows us to increase the inventory of bacteria in, in an existing tank to be able to do more work in that tank. So in that sense, it's a, a process intensification solution the unique thing about MABR is that media also transfers oxygen. So it's that, that media is made of a material that transfers molecular oxygen, not, not bubbles, not micro bubbles or nano bubbles, but actually by molecular diffusion. So if we're growing a biofilm on the outside of the media that needs oxygen to metabolize the organics or the, the nitrogen, for instance, the media transfer the oxygen to the biofilm without bubbles. So it's really a, a, a significant shift in the, the principles of how we could design or operate a wastewater treatment plant. So we use that Zlung MABR to intensify existing activated sludge systems. Uh, the benefits are that we can install it into an existing tank and increase capacity by something on the order of 50%. Uh, you get some benefits around resilience because you have the, the good things that a suspended growth or a conventional activated sludge plant are good at are, are still there. And you get the benefits of an attached growth system where the bugs are stuck in the system. And the, the extra benefit is that you get energy savings because we're transferring oxygen without bubbles. And we're seeing some benefits also with respect to nitrous oxide emission mitigation, which is becoming a more and more important as, as utilities look to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. So, so that's Zlung MABR and Zdense is coupling that technology with densification. So in, in the world of wastewater treatment, there's a lot of attention these days on um, designing your bioreactor, your biology to get better settling sludge, because when you have better settling sludge, it means you can intensify your hydraulic capacity. 
meaning you should get more flow through an existing clarifier. So we can do that with densification where we take the waste activated sludge and we process it through a hydrocyclone and we separate the more dense bacteria population from the light bacteria population. It's the dense bugs that we wanna retain because they have value with respect to their nitrogen removal capabilities or their, their more broadly their nutrient removal capabilities and they settle better. And the light stuff doesn't add much value. That's the filaments, the pin flock that we would rather waste from the system. So we, we, Z-Dense is the coupling of that MABR, which we use to de-bottleneck the biology with densification, which we use to de-bottleneck the secondary clarification process. And that allows us to go to an existing conventional activated sludge plant and intensify both the biology and the hydraulics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, a big focus of ours is is the industrial side of, of water treatment. Are, are there any, uh, um, you know, industrial applications for these technologies? Uh, and if so, could you, you talk, touch on those a little bit? MBBRs are widely used in industrial applications. Mm -hmm. um, they're simple to operate and they have a fairly compact footprint. Um, the Sela technology is just a... Uh, a new and improved MPBR technology. So uh, we don't have any, you know, in operation right now, the in industrial applications, mm -hmm. um, but it will still provide all of the benefits of a conventional MBBR. Um, but it also, it, you know, improves on the footprint um, and also will have lower energy consumption compared to a traditional MBBR because we're using fine bubble diffusers instead of the, um, we call them medium bubble diffusers. Um, and then uh, the operational strategy that we use with Sela, um, we're able to make a more efficient use of the carbon and alkalinity in the, coming from the influent wastewater. Um, so it's more sustainable and um, also carbon footprint friendly option. Uh, so hopefully, you know, industries will uh, want to try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm, I'm sure they will. So basically any anything with the MBBR, you know, any industrial application that that would apply to would, would be for this just, a, you know, smaller footprint, right? It sounds like. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Great. Well, uh, I was going to ask, but I think y'all touched on it a good bit, you know, as far as the sustainability benefits, you mentioned, you know, the footprint and energy savings. Are there any other kinds of um, benefits like that in terms of sustainability that, that you'd like to mention about these technologies? You can think about sustainability in different ways. You know, oftentimes plants have some existing infrastructure to serve their wastewater treatment and, you know, finding solutions, our principle is let's find solutions where we can get more from those existing assets. So whether that's MBBR or Sela or Zilung or Zdense, you know, the right solution depends on the specific context of the plant. So there's sustainability in terms of just making use of the assets that you've already built instead of, you know, wiping them out and starting, starting over from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, there's sustainability benefits of not pouring new concrete, for instance, which are direct carbon benefits. Um, energy savings is a big deal. Uh, you can also think about sustainability in terms of not just reducing the energy consumption, but increasing energy production, you know, in a, in a particularly for industrial applications where you've got high carbon loads, if you can recover that carbon and through anaerobic digestion, for instance, uh, that you can actually create value from that energy rather than destroying the value. And I think the, the technologies, the intensification technologies that we've brought to market enable that not just energy savings, but energy production opportunity. Great. And uh, where can our viewers go to find out more information about these solutions? You can go to uh, the, the Viola website or, mm -hmm. or just search for the specific technologies, or uh, we've got some interesting and new content on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and search Sela or Zdense, you'll, you'll find some uh, informative videos that describe how the technology works and what the value proposition is. Perfect. Well, great. Well, those are all the questions I had. Thank you both for, for taking the time to, to talk with me today about, about all this. It's really, really great stuff. You're welcome. Thank you.
Thank you. Well, to stay up to date with industry leaders like Veolia Water Technologies, go to watertechonline.com or follow us on social media. For Water Technology, I'm Daniel Gaddy, and as always, thanks for watching. Oh.